Welcome back, guys. Um, now we got done with our map state to props. And so that's where we're showing the, the data, which is diamonds right here at zero. But now we also want to update that data, right? When we click the button, we want to update that number. So in order to do that, we have to use map dispatch to props. But basically, it's just used for dispatching actions to the store. And there's two different ways of doing this. There is a way by default that since our Minecraft component is wrapped in this connect. So connect kind of does all the work for us. So connect is wrapping around our component. So it's giving it by default a dispatch prop. So if we do props.dispatch, we can do that and manually put in the action we want to dispatch. But we don't want to do it that way. We want to do it the way of using map dispatch the props. So we start that off. And there's two different forms of map dispatch the props. And also, this name could be anything. It's just everyone usually calls it map dispatch the props. So we're just going to keep it that way. But all, all we have to do, you can name it anything, but it just has to be passed in as a second argument to connect. So to start this off, I'll just call it map dispatch props. And I'm going to do it. There's two ways of creating this. It can be a function or an object. So the, the recommended way of doing this is using an object. But I'm going to show you both ways. And for the function, it will take dispatch as an argument. So that's the difference. With the function, it gives you access to the dispatch, which is just a function to the Redux store. So here, the map dispatch to props function returns a plain object. So it's a plain object. It's going to be returning our actions or action creators. So to set that up, our key, which is, we can name this anything. I'm going to name it diamond count. So this is the prop right here that we're going to pass into our Minecraft component. So once we do that, our Minecraft component has access to this, this uh, function we're about to write. So dispatch, which I said is a function. And it'll take our action creator as an argument. And we'll have to import our action creator. Too far. Components. Why am I going to components? So once we grabbed our action creator, now we have to pass it into the dispatch function. So this one, since we our type is mine diamond, that's what we want to happen when we mine it. When we increment, it'll um, increment that number. So right here, so diamond count is our prop that we'll pass in. And so this is where you'll keep returning 
more action creators. You go and create more props for your other action creators. So we could do it this way, which all I do is pass this in. I create my, I can already set it up now, our handle click function. So I can quickly show you how that would look. Mine diamond. Now here. So remember previously when we were talking about our um, payload, if we go back to action to our reducer. You see here in mine diamond, we return diamonds. Which, if it's mine diamond, we'll take the action dot payload, right? To be the the new value. So that is what we'll pass right here. So this would be the payload, our new value. Which the new value is obviously going to be diamonds, because that's our state value zero plus one. So here, we have our function completed. So once we if we go to our button. Do on click, pass in handle click. See that npm start. So if we click in mine, mine diamond is not a function. Mine diamond is not a function. Oh, I forgot to pass it in map dispatch. See, if you don't pass it in, yeah, problems will happen. And more problems will happen. Mine diamond is not a function. Oh, I forgot to call it. All right. Wow. What is the problem? Stupid mistake. I was, as I was saying it, I wasn't even doing it. Okay. The prop right here, diamond count, that's what you pass in. I don't know what I was thinking. You guys probably saw that thinking, what is he doing? Is undefined. Oh, I forgot to pass in a parameter. E have to pass that in. Okay. Now I'll be able to see that value right so but I don't want to do it this way there's a much easier way and that's using an object instead of a function here so this is the recommended way so this is basically just doing this but it's all shorthand it's really easy to set up so all you have to do is just create an object. So we have our object and all we have to do is pass in our action creator for action. Mind diamond. And when we go up here, you still have to import it, pass it in. Then in our Minecraft component, mind diamond. So in our handle click, Mine diamond and then diamonds plus one. 
Pass in our handle click. You want me to see it? Increments. So much easier doing it that way. I hope this makes sense. Um, I know map dis dispatch the props was more confusing. It's a it's more confusing than map state the props, but doing it this way is a lot easier. So just to run through it, we have our action creator that we imported from our actions file. Then, then we created our map dispatch to props object. Created, added our mine diamond. Then have our map dispatch to props as a second argument for connect. Notice when we do this, we pass it into our Minecraft component as so. And then we add it to our handle click. Adding diamonds plus one, because that's what we want to change it to when we click this button here. And then it starts updating. So that is the gist of map dispatch to props. As you can see, there's two different ways, which we've done map dispatch to props, or you can have it the default way, where once you wrap your connect function around our Minecraft component, then it automatically has access to this dispatch, props.dispatch. But it is obviously a lot easier to do it this way. So, so that sums up the basics of React and Redux. But in the next video, I'm gonna go over a little bit more advanced topics in Redux, such as, and to go over thunk and handling asynchronous data. So we'll be grabbing data from an API and then have Redux store that data into our store, Redux store. So we'll be going over that in the next video. Bye-bye.